Hey everybody, so this is a vlog 18. This is going to be a little bit different of a video. I am going to show you how I look for jobs as a travel nurse. Some of you may already know that I'm a travel nurse, but if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Joanne and I like to do shopping hauls. Um, I'm participating in Vlogtober uh, for myself and uh, you know, not collabing with anybody. I'm doing Vlogtober for myself, so I've been posting just random videos about my life alongside um, my walkthrough videos and haul videos. So I work for Arius Medical Group. So this is the homepage here in case any of you guys were interested in um, travel nursing, if you were considering it. Arius is a good company. Um, I've already been logged in, however, if we go to find jobs and put in, I can't, something's wrong with my keyboard. I cleaned it. I had wiped it down and I think I messed it up because now I can't just type whatever I want. And I don't know what's going on with the mouse either. Um, so registered nurse, I'm a med surge nurse. I have hospice and OR background as well, but I, have predominantly worked med surge um, in my nursing career and then I live in the state of Virginia so I'm just putting in that I'm gonna put in for the past week because I want the most current jobs and so this shows me that over the mountain for me in Charlottesville Virginia which is probably UVA that's the big yeah level one a trauma level one teaching facility. That's definitely UVA, University of Virginia. So that's over the mountain for me. I could apply for that. There's one in Woodstock, however, this is too close to home. I wouldn't be able to um, get like any kind of stipend, but I might be able to get a higher rate of pay, but that's something that I have to ask my recruiter. There's something down in Lynchburg. Um, I already see right here resource float pool is not happening so I'm not going to be looking into this job. Rocky Mount Virginia, I don't know where that was at so I looked it up and decided to restart <laughs> recording the video because um, I felt like I was pausing too much. So it looks like on Trippy. It says that it's about 137 miles, two hours and 21 minutes. That's within my reasoning of travel assignments. I try to work just um, no further than two hours away. The contract that I took in Maryland, it kind of just fell in that way. Um, I wasn't really able to find work during that time. And then go figure when I signed that contract, um, the hospitals that I had applied for started calling me. So let's get back to Rocky Mount. Let's look into it a little bit more. Um, hospital in Virginia, med surge nurse for 13 week assignment. Um, it doesn't say anything really particular. So if I wanna know more about this job, I just have to send my recruiter this job reference number and she'll tell me um, the name of the hospital, uh, what kind of facility, you know, she'll give me more details, including um, the pay package for it. So it looks like there's quite a bit of jobs right now that I'm gonna send off to my recruiter. I did already inquire about the University of Virginia. It tells me the ranges. Um, it tells me when the start date is, 11-14 start only and the kind of patients that I would have. So this is respiratory, endocrine, cardiac, immune, infectious disease, and renal, which um, I have experience with that. Um, and it tells you like, because when you do contracts and everything, when you apply for, um, this says must adhere to UVA's float policy. Ugh know I wonder how often you float for that that'd be a question that I ask if I get called for an interview but anyway um, it says can have seven days max for time off and then it says unavailable to approve for the holidays so since this is an 1114 
start date, they're telling you straight up, you're not getting Christmas or New Year's off. Um, if that's just how you fall on the schedule, like you can't request that off for your contract. Um, they're not going to, they're not going to approve it, but you can have seven days max. So if I know I need days off ahead of time, that's when I, um, will tell my recruiter to put in my requirements. Guys, don't be fooled with these wages because, um, Every, you know, people think that travel nurses make money. The only way that we make money is with that stipend. And um, honestly, at the end of the year, we have to prove what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? So there, you know, I keep records of everything. I um, make sure that I'm able to show that I've paid rent or some kind of living expense to get that money. Um, so it doesn't come and get me in the ass you know what i'm saying so yeah guys this is how i look for jobs hope that kind of gives you an idea of what it's like for a travel nurse to look for work all right so that's the end of vlog 18 guys thank you for being here with me i'm so excited um that this vlogtober is coming to an end because it's getting hard guys it is getting hard i've already missed one day and i think that was vlog 16 but honestly i was like just not feeling it i was wore out um so yeah anyway i'm gonna continue my job search i'm you know thought i'd share with you how it is that i find work and uh wish me luck guys because come november <laughs> i need to be having more money coming in here oh and that's another thing you know like when you are you work as a traveler when you're not working you're not getting paid so this whole month of october i haven't been bringing home any money and that's why i haven't really been showing you guys like big hauls or anything like that so just trying to conserve my money until i'm working again so there you go thank you guys for um tuning in and being there with me and i hope you guys are all doing well i'll see you in the next video thanks everybody bye